Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners along with Bob Iacchino. Let's take a look at IOTA. So we have our old levels on here. We're watching for the cluster at about 197. Pause there. Pretty much dead stop on it. Then blew through even our 207. Getting up, getting up to 210. That 207 level was from the low on the 8th to the high on the 9th. Projected up. Got through that to 210. Let's remove... Actually, we can remove uh, some of these. We'll just update. We got other levels higher should this rotate back up. Then we're again, like the other videos we talked about yesterday, we closed below the rotation zone and below the trend line, watching for the bigger pullback. This trend line is now a redraw. It completed its move. New defining point at around 158. So we're looking only to initiate. We don't have a divergence. We don't have a double or anything yet. It came down. We were looking for 163, got down to 158. So that's also done. Got, it's a little weaker. Couldn't even find support. Found support at the end of this clear path. Now we have the flat rotation zone. Not It's technically against us, but it's pretty flat. We're looking for a close now back above the 184.50 area. Then we'll be looking for a return up to some key levels. Uh, we'll be looking for a return then to 199, then 210. Now, that all gets invalidated if we close back down below this new defining point, 158. Then we'll be looking for very, very major support coming in at 154 to 151. If that's broken, then 145, and then that would not be good for the recovery in IOTA. So let's check in on the daily chart. Daily chart, let me again expand this. Ran up to right where the top of the rotation zone is now pulled down. So there's major resistance at this just in front of the 210 and that's going to keep coming down. So if, if we don't break up shortly, watch for the 21 EMA to continue to come down and provide resistance. Now, if we can get a close or a momentum move through that, then we'll be looking for first like stop stop raising level 217 then the cluster target 221 to 223 then eventually the 233 to 235 levels the rotation zone will be out of the way however if it can't get through that we rotate back down you can see right now right at that 625 level 153.90 right above that we have the flat 200 day which uh we'll be watching for some key support in that area switching over to litecoin litecoin some similarly uh, closed below the rotation zone and below the trend line. We we're watching for the bigger pullback. We projected down 141.23, got to 141.60. So that level's reached. Did not get a divergence or a high probability reversal pattern. So nothing yet to do there. If we break back down, actually, I got the level in the wrong place. I got to move it to there, the new defining point. We're then watching if we break below the one. 141.23 we're watching for the cluster area 137 then 134 to 133 to the downside now we have moved above above a trend line but we're watching for a key close above the 155 155 level if we get the close above the 155 we'll be watching for a return to 160 to 161.45 because that'll trigger a long trade and then back up to around the 169. If we go through there, next major area is right with the middle of this 174 to 172. So we'll watch for 173, which is the next GAN projection up from the lows on the 7th to the most recent swing highs on the 9th. And then above that 177. However, we have to fine tune those levels by looking at the daily chart. So you see daily spiked up through the rotation zone, but couldn't close above it, then pulling back, trading back down, buyers stepping in now back between the rotation zones. So returning that 161 is still fine. We don't have resistance from the 21, but keep in mind if this pauses longer, that 21 is going to come down. So this 160, 161 area is going to be very key. If we do get above it, then we'll be watching for these upper areas but this is definitely an area to raise your stop if your longs because if it can't get back through here and turns back down then we'll be watching for the potentially lower prices that's really all we have on litecoin switching over to ripple ripple big explosive move at the end of the week pulling back now nicely to the rotation zone and the 50 percent retracements from the lows back on february 5th to the most recent highs on the 9th really nice little cluster there old uh retracement level cluster 90 
137. 50% retracement came at 90 even, and the rise in rotation zone rotated back up. What we're watching for, we have a new defining point on the trend line at 103. So we're watching for a close above 103. Then we'll be targeting the about 114 and then watching for the return to the highs minor cluster around 122 to 125. If we get through that 128, then eventually that's just a stop reduction Then 135. But we need to fine tune that looking at the daily before we do that. If we turn back down and get below this trend line, then we're going to watch for a return to about 80, 68 to 81, 84 right in here. That's a, going to be a very key area for Ripple. Let's switch over to the daily. So daily tried to spike through the rotation zone and even through the 50 day moving average and collapsing back down, closing back in the rotation zone. This is why it's so important to watch for the closes outside. If it can't sustain a move and drops back down, this is what catches people. They see it going through it and you don't get the close. So they all get long and then they get hammered when it drops back down. That's why we were very, very patient. Now it's caught between the 21 and the rising eight. So pay attention to both these levels. This 106.39 is going to be very key to raise a stop if you do get long. And then you'll be looking for the 145 and then the 122. And to the downside, if we get below that 50% level in the trend line, then it will be back below the 8. And that's when this lower level, this 81.84 to 80.68 will come into play. Again, that's what we have for you on Ripple, IOTA, and Litecoin. We'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.